phenomenal P.T. Styles. The definition of intensity is the look on the face of the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. He has AJ Styles in his sights. Angle right here in front of the broadcast table. Look at him, Frank. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. But AJ never saw it. He had the ambush on it. You knew it was going on right there, and now it's just broken up, and it's just gotten crazy. It's full metal mayhem. Keep your eye on anything. It can be used in Christian Cage right in front of this table. It's just absolutely throttling in front of Ray. Choking him. I mean, the intensity in Christian Cage is out of this world. Christian Cage is a man possessed, and you can't blame him. After he was put out by several weeks, through that glass table, full court press, right on brother Ray choking the life out of him. Look at AJ take down Angle. Whoa! Kurt Angle set for eight. Look at this, AJ. Unbelievable! He just does the summer soul over the top. Takes out brother Devon and Kurt Angle. Let's see that again. Gonna take another look. Look at AJ go airborne. What a shot, two for one. Now it's just broken up. And you've got Devon and AJ in the ring right in front of us, the war machine with Kurt Angle. Well, you notice how Frank Trigg all of a sudden clams up uh, when AJ Styles hits a spectacular move like that. I'm a little concerned that, you know, Christian Cage comes over here and hits us up on the commentating table. You've got half, you know, every one, every one of these guys is cheating beyond belief at this point. This is ridiculous. You can't choke him. This you can't is what full metal mayhem's all about, hey, Frank look, Trigg. Oh, you, you want full metal mayhem? Let's see what happens when these tables come out. Let's see what happens when these chairs come out. What a spine buster by the war machine as he goes for the pin on Kurt Angle. You know, it started out oh. as simple feud. We saw Christian go right after Ray. You can see the count there by Brother Ray on Rhino. You saw Kurt, of course, ambush AJ, but now it's just all broken up. What a shot with the garbage can. Echoes throughout the arena, and he's still got the can. Oh, man, what a shot to the face. He just crushed him. Whoa. Oh, Brother Ray gets it up in time. Just has to be a natural reaction by Brother Ray to be able to roll the shoulder at that point. Look at this, Brother Ray. What a back body drop as he just sent Christian a mile into the lights, and that's that strength to Brother Ray. And, oh, man, it's already just developed and gone crazy, Frank. I wonder if every time Christian lands on his back and he's thinking about glass. That, you know, for me, I'd always be worried if I was him. That, well, I'll tell you what, he hit his back hard. Hey, you want me to go over the rules again on Full Metal Mayhem? There are no rules, Frank! Well, hey, you know, it's all I'm saying is, you don't want anybody hitting anybody with a table. Christian's always complaining about someone choking him, going through glass, all of a sudden, he wants to take it to that next level, he's gonna get, yeah, he's gonna give that, out. I saw that concern from you last Thursday when you were taunting AJ after you put him on his back and you had Kurt put the head him in the ankle lock and you were just taunting him. Yeah, trying to embarrass yeah, him. That was some real concern. Right in his face, took your handkerchief out. I was, I was wiping off his tears. I was, trying to, I was concerned about his wealth. What a humanitarian. Nice oh, yeah. double team, though, by 3D. Sure it was. I, I it. Brother Ray, Brother Devon, the two-on-one. But look behind. The ladder's going to come oh. into play, courtesy of Rhino and Christian. Nice move as they take both of them out. But Kurt Angle, you better be careful. He's got a chair, and he just creams the war machine. And then he's got one for the instant classic. Is Christian OK? Do you think he's all right? Oh, man, another shot. That time for Rhino across the back with the steal from Angle. You know, really, I, I don't know why Kurt is using the chair. He's, he's so much better using the ladder. I'll tell you I what, prefer. there's ladders, tables, garbage cans, steel steps, and chairs. Remember, guys, they started this by coming out, you know, and, and just being just being ruthless, trying to get their payback. Oh, 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 oh. What a suplex. <laughs> you just talked about how good Angle was with the ladder. That was a belly-to-belly, overhead-release suplex, and you saw Christian land back first on the ladder. Brother Ray's got a ladder in hand. Brother Devon, oh, and they sandwich. sandwich. They just sandwiched the war machine. I told you guys, if you give it out, you're going to get it back. And that's exactly what's happening now. First turn event, poor Rhino got beat up before. He's going to beat up again. Same thing's going to happen to AJ Styles. The same thing's going to happen to Christian Cage. Angle drops down, but then to hit, take a couple of shots at Rhino. But keep your eyes on AJ Styles. He's got the ladder. Look out! You're kidding! Oh, he goes oh. to the top. If he had just slipped a little bit.
spin. He went, oh, man, look at that. Just the referee got pulled out before the three count as Kurt Angle grabbed Earl Hefner and made sure he couldn't count him out. Looked like AJ was going to get three for sure that time, springing off the top of the ladder, coming right down onto Brother Ray. But now, numbers game time here as Devon comes in. AJ in serious trouble. Oh, three on one, Frank. There's no way I should take any resistance against him at all. He should attack him the entire time, not give him a break at all. Basically trying to ruin his life right now if they're smart. And all because he's been falsely accused, in my mind, of sleeping with Karen Angle. And small minds always equate to each other. I know, and of course, Mike Tenace feels the same way. Where's your proof, Frank Trigg? No, like get a camera, there it is! Oh my God! Christian Look at King. Christian! He's oh on my top! God, trust left over from the Ultimate X match! Look at this! He's dying! Turns around! What a beautiful crossbody block! Wow! Oh no! What I'm talking about! Not good. No. One, two! Kurt gets the shoulder up barely. Look Got at it. this again! Look at this! Poetry in motion! Incredible shots from the top of the steel press. Christian Cage, the instant classic, getting part of what he's wanted here. Oh man, he tried to use the ladder, but then Brother Ray used that steel chair instead. Team 3D, of course, no stranger to these kind of matchups. Oh, what a shot to the back of AJ. You can see him bowing up. Oh, poor AJ. And there's a score by Rhino. He boarded the chair. Oh, another there's score. Hand. There's the door for him. There's one for Devon. The triple door. The trifecta of gores by the War Machine. Gore, I gore, gore. I will admit right now, Rhino scares me a little bit. He's the only guy that's out there right now that has the possibility of beating Kurt Angle because of his straight tenacity to come out there and keep attacking, and he is so upset from the beating he got earlier. I'll tell you something to me. This guy, you know, we don't talk about him as much as maybe we should, but he is an animal. The war machine, he just has one speed. And it's full steam straight ahead, and he's got the momentum after just goring everybody. Devon in trouble in the corner. Rhino gonna position him up on top. War Machine gonna follow up. Devon tries to fight back. Rhino getting the legs positioned properly here. Let's see what he has in store. Devon almost helpless at this point, but then Brother Ray's coming up from behind. Look at this, Brother Ray sees him, starts smacking in the back of him as it took Rhino too much time. Now look at this, oh my God. He's got him on his shoulders, and where can the Rhino go? Diva now takes him and puts him <laughs> right through the table. <laughs> well, you can see Brother Devon caught his he, ankle. Yeah, caught his ankle on the way down. Bad landing for him. Brother Ray's got the cover. This is a possible three count. Christian in for the save. Perfect timing there by the Instant Classic. Let's show you this again, if we can. This is where it, can, it, can, it was risk for everybody. Watch Devon too as he landed really bad. Ooh, on his ankle. It was a tough sight to see, even for Brother Devon. But think about the damage to the War Machine. I mean, that's one of the situations when you put yourself into full metal mayhem. Anything can happen. Christian tries to mount a comeback here, connecting with that double clothesline. Took down both members of 3D. Look at Angle, right across, Christian moved out of the way, measures it, wait, I'm prettier. Oh no, he's got him set up, oh Kurt able to fight out Frank. That's great power, look at that technique he's got. Look at that energy, there it is. Ankle lock applied, and look at the ring positioning here for Kurt Angle, could it be any better? How about that though? He spun it around. It's a wonderful counter by Christian Cage. He almost stole it. He didn't have him weakened sufficiently, did he, Frank? No, he sure didn't. I'm a little concerned now because Kurt's starting to get beat up a little bit. He's starting to slow down a little bit. He's got to dig a little bit deeper. Christian out to the apron. Gonna go high risk, one would presume. Instant classic up, but uh, how, Angle how about brings Angle? up to cut him off. And I think Christian's gnawing on his head. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, but watch out. Brother Devon, oh, low blow. So right for it all. Devon able to make it up there. And catch him, uh-oh, look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, no, look at this. A 3D right through the <laughs> table. A 3D right through the table. I 
love the way 3D works the table. It's the most, it, obviously, it's the best looking thing you can see out there every time. Uh, just per amazing. Personal rivalry between AJ and Angle on display, but brothers oh. right from behind with a trash can shot to the head. AJ's by himself. The war machine's knocked out here. Christian Cage is knocked out in front of us. AJ just got creamed. It's three on one, and they're ready for a slaughter. Look out. Trash cans flying everywhere, but you're right. AJ outnumbered here. This doesn't look good for AJ Styles. Oh, how about that, though? Ducking, and then a beautiful kick to the back of the head of Kurt Angle. That's one thing about AJ, his resiliency. This guy is unbelievable. When it's down, he's out. He doesn't have a chance. AJ Styles finds a way to turn it in his favor. Really, once you guys get off a little bit, all you guys keep pushing over AJ, pushing over AJ. Who's a little bit good mountain there? It's Kurt Angle. Let's give him a little support. It's amazing the jealousy that AJ invokes in everybody that watches him, isn't it, Mike? He's just that good. He's just that phenomenal. Angle in trouble. AJ reeling off the forearm shots. Brother Ray going to try and position the table. Don't turn your back on AJ Styles. Wow, nice elbow and a shot. Oh, oh. what a kick! Took his head off. Brother Ray! I don't Man. think we didn't know you had that one, Brother Ray. But boy, it was on target. It was on the money. I, I think he probably split his pants, but I'll tell you what. That was unbelievable for a big guy. I mean, that just, he, you know what, Brother Ray? He's deceiving. Yeah, he is big, but the guy is in absolute incredible shape. And he shows you he can be pretty limber. AJ set up in the corner. Brother Ray with the big chops to the chest. Beatdown continues. Styles tries to fight back. You know Brother Ray's going to take a shortcut anytime he can. Just he could, he, instead of hitting him with an open palm, he just hit him with a fist on that one. Just pummeled AJ down. And look at this. We talked about Devon and the injured ankle down here several times, but you got to give him courage just to be able to gut it out under these circumstances as he's able to get a table rolled in here for his partner, Brother Ray. Courageous effort by Brother Devon. Well, he is. I mean, he's just hobbling. He's in pure pain. And while he's doing that, he's just pulling back on the head of AJ Styles. So the ropes there in the back, and it, he's pulling the head in the wrong direction, and it's just... The pain's excruciating, and AJ now, he's vulnerable as he's set up on the table. That's what great friends do to each other. They know where the other guy's going, they want to bail each other out, they want to help each other. Even when you're hurting injured, you still help out your best friend. Oh, this could be it. AJ, though, as Brother Ray hesitates, he tried to pose, and look at the nice shot. That's why when a low blow is definitely merited right there by AJ Styles. Brother Ray grandstands, and it costs him. Oh, and then AJ takes him and powers him right through the wood. Rhino's still out. Christian Cage has been 3D through a table. Now look at this. AJ just sends Brother Devon through. Now it's Kurt. It's AJ left. Olympic uh, attempt. Rule up by AJ. Here comes, here, the, comes. here comes the clash. Here comes the clash. He's got it. There it is. Rolls him over. One. Perfectly plans exactly what Kurt was thinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Johnny Devine, the associate of Team 3D with the kendo stick, swing and a miss at the Pele. Oh, boy, you talk about a Pele out of nowhere. I mean, this is a no disqualification oh. match. Johnny Devine just got cracked. Oh. And AJ's I'm got next. the kendo stick, and he's pointed right at you, How's Frank Trigg. Well, he knows Wait a minute. Angle, Olympic slam. Olympic slam. Here it is, one, two. Oh, he was able to kick out just in time. The guy's unreal. The frustration on the face of Kurt Angle. How about AJ Styles pointing that kendo stick right at you, Frank Craig? With all this going on, he still hasn't forgotten what you did last week. When you put him up on your shoulders and you slam him down. It's kind of hard to forget. I got a little feeling here. AJ and I got a little pop backstage again as well. Kurt Angle going to try and bring a table into play, slide it into the six-sided ring. Boy, bodies just laid out everywhere you look here, Don. It's oh, like, they are. It's I like mean, Angle's the only man standing at this point. That's full metal mayhem. That's what it does. It's just, it's a survival. War of attrition. Yeah. You just got to be, and Kurt Angle right now, 
is in the best position as he's setting a ladder up. AJ Styles just still reeling, and man, Kurt just comes over and stomps him in the head. What is this? Wait a minute, referee Earl Hebner. He gets tripped over down. the table. Sure he did, and he hurt his ankle. He, he, he got pushed, he tripped right, I, I saw it. Right off the corner of the table, Good didn't he? And the leg and, and ankle of referee Hebner just buckled. Referee Earl Hebner on the ground as you see Kurt Angle setting up the table. AJ Wobbly getting to his feet. Straps down, could be the oh, slam, no. here it comes. Oh, AJ playing a little possum there. That's what you do. Slam Enough this. of this crap. Slam Wait a minute, where, you the going? World. Frank, where are you going, Trig? Frank Trig just left the announce table and he's trying to sneak up. AJ doesn't realize it. And he's got the kendo stick in his hand. Johnny Devine brought down a kendo stick for ringside, and Trick just picked it up. AJ up on the ladder. Oh, and Trick just wow, him over the head. Come on. Frank Trick comes in. AJ didn't see it. Now look at this. He just Olympic slammed him off the ladder into the table. No chance right here for AJ. Referee, Frank Trick disgusting. Referee Hefner rolls over and counts three. Here are your winners, Team 3D and Kurt Angle! Introducing, first of all, the challengers, the team of Max and Jeremy, Generation Me! So the question is, is it Gen Me's time? Is this, is this it? Is this the opportunity that at hand? Are they gonna be crowned? New World Tag Team Champions right here in the ever dangerous full metal man, baby. What do you think about Generation Me's style? Could they really have a better chance no. for Full Metal Mayhem to, sh to showcase their abilities here and, in the process, become TNA World Tag Team Champions for the very first time? Which makes this matchup so cool. On, it's not only right up the challenges alley, but it's right up the champions. Their alley. This is their style, and here they come. And now, introducing uh, their opponents from Detroit, Michigan. They are the TNA World Tag Team. No oh, warming up in a bullpen. Close enough, JB. We know it's the guns. Saban and Shelly flying down the ramp to initiate the contact. The TNA World Tag Team Championship belts, ladies and gentlemen, they hang high above the ring. So while the tables, the chairs, the ladders, that's all legal to use in this match. The point, eventually, is to get those TNA Tag Team title belts down, take possession, they're hung yeah. above the ring, take them down, win the titles, win the match. Right yeah, well, you gotta beat down your opponent enough to you know, have the ability to get one of those ladders in there and try and climb up and grab the Tag Team titles. Looks like Alex Shelley's gonna be in a bad way here real soon. Maybe not. Oh, my God! God saving that. Oh! Wow, how about Jeremy Buck? So quick. So quickly, I couldn't really tell what Jeremy hit after he... Let's take a replay. We're going to get an angle of this here. Like this split screen. Oh, the moonsault. Wow. Just awesome. How yeah. quick. First he caught Saban inside, then Shelly outside, and now Max Buck goes to the mount, raining in those right hands to the top of the head of Saban. Got communication between the challengers, Jen Me, Max, and Jeremy as Jeremy outside directs traffic. Got the table in position and in well, place. Look, the you know champions, Motor City Machine Guns came out here like a house of, on fire, and uh, Jen Me shut them down real quick. Are you surprised at that? Not in the least. After what we saw Taz recently on reaction, the empty arena matchup between these two, nothing yeah. that these two tag oh. teams that they do will surprise me in a double team move leads to Saban getting dropped on his head with the DDT. Well, we've seen neck issues for Saban and Shelly at the hands of Max and Jeremy Buck. It looks like they're zoning right in to Saban's neck again. Wait a minute. Wow, oh my God. What a great camera shot we had there. On top of, oh, my God, just turned Jeremy Buck inside out. Did so by the Saban clothesline, and then Chris gets it rolling with a drop kick. Shelly holds Max, and Saban just drilled him with the kick. 
chance now for the Guns to turn this matchup in their favor. Saw some communication, some eye contact made between Saban and Shelly. One would suspect well, that's they've got something in store here for Jen Me. Exactly, Mike. And oh, my God. Tag teams will do that. They don't have to talk. When you mm -hmm. work with each other so much and you have that chemistry, a certain look will let your partner know, let's do this. And but could, it didn't work. Could you have better <laughs> chemistry than, well, two brothers right. you know, fighting against a tag team that's been together like five, six years? Uh, no, 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 no. You could not have better chemistry, but well, Jeremy put the brakes on, almost hit that steel chair. Oh. Oh. Shelly sends his own partner saving into the corner and then flies right up his back. Contact oh, made look out for the oh, chair. Oh, my God, that was oh. Wow. Jeremy Buck just flinging the chair, oh. catches Saban, and then Shelly gets caught with the kick and a drop oh, kick Jesus. running style. Oh, hit that steel and, chair. Yeah. Oh. Look out on the outside, you can see Max Buck look like he started to loosen the hinges on that ladder. Gonna bring that thing in the ring. You can tell he had that what he had on his mind. Yeah, sort of surveying the situation, making sure that both members of the guns were down and out so that Jen Me can roll that ladder into place, climb up, and well, I guess they weren't so down and out. Yeah, they should have slid that thing in there underneath. Go to the machine guns. Yeah, they, they definitely leveled the playing field real quick. The double drop kick into the ladder drops Jen Me and well, I don't think that, I don't think Shelly realized they don't see, it's a they steel don't see, chair. They slid the chair and Shelly, Saban, they never saw it. God. Oh, he felt it. He might not have saw it, but Saban felt oh. it. Oh, my God, and so did Shelly. Blow a knee out. Good Lord. Good God, that was ugly. The level of physicality that we saw between these two teams in the empty arena match is being matched Well, tonight. the hatred. The hatred, Mike. Sure. The hatred, the disdain, the dislike for each other. You, you remember the audio of that empty arena match where you could just hear all four competitors throughout? Yep, yeah, it was nasty. And right now, Shelly's got to go out of the load a little bit here. The ladder in ring and both guns and one, I'm sorry, both Jen Me and one gun. Shelly gonna go slice bread on the ladder. No success for Alex oh my God. Shelly. Oh my God. Oh. Max. Oh, just takes him and throws him back first in the oh, ladder. No, 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 no. Look Jeremy's at got him in what his sight. What the hell is he going to do here? That's what he's going to do. Oh, my God. Wow. Not a fun way to spend a Sunday night. All the way of Jeremy Buck, in addition to the ladder. We're going to get new champs here, buddy. Across the chest. We're going to get new champs here, Mike. Here goes. Ladder put into play right underneath the championship belts. Saban outside. Shelly being oh, neutralized it. by Max. Here goes Jeremy. They did it. Gonna climb up and take down the titles. And Gotta go high. Those things are up there. Oh, they put the ladder too far. They don't have the ladder directly underneath, do they? No, they don't. It's gotta reach back and look out. Leaves yourself wide open for this. Saving <laughs> by any means necessary. Well, it he was got... desperation, but it paid off. No doubt. Just pull him right off that ladder. Oh, look at this. What's going to happen now? Well, a little stair step, head scissors, and Jeremy, first the shot to the back of Saban, and then out to the floor for Shelly. Again, Jen Me senses the time's right. Yeah, you got, you know, when the opportunity's there, you got to get up that ladder. Put the ladder underneath the title, man. Yeah, it looks like he's a little bit he's off again. Off. Yeah, he's just he's stepping one step at a time like he's five years old. What's that about? Was trying to make. Oh, hold on. I don't think. I don't know if he would get up there if he was on the top rung. That, those belts are high up there, Mike. That's a good point. I don't. And you know, you, you, you're talking about more or less X Division style athletes here. They're not at. Oh, and a oh. dragon screw. Wow, he's wrapped up in the ladder. Now that just adds to something else that we've never seen tonight. How many times have we said that? About half a dozen times? Yeah, it's an awesome show thus far. This is an awesome match for the tag team titles. My point was, I think that it seems like those tag team titles are really way up there. I don't know if that lad is tall enough. And you're talking about more or less these are X Division athletes and not exactly gigantic in height themselves. That's coming from me. Good point. Oh. Thank you. Sandwiched in the ladder. Ooh. Oh, double foot stomp. God. Jeremy just oh, totally defenseless. Holy steel ladder sandwich. As 
With Max in the ladder, Jeremy gets elevated over by Shelly right on top of his brother. Bulldog oh, now. Oh, face God. jam style bulldog by Saban. Look oh. at Max Buck. Look at that. All of a sudden, the match, which Looks like was he's in a crab trap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, we had a shark cage earlier, now a crab trap. It's an ocean theme. Matorna. Nautica, that too. Close enough. Here goes Saban speeding up the ladder. And I, think the, I think the ladder positioning is a little better yeah, this time, but I'm still not certain, like you are. The, the, yeah, I, the, I don't know. And you can't go to that tippy top wrong because, whoa, whoa, oh, my whoa, whoa, God. Whoa. If you go to that, you know, that tippy, the top, top of the ladder, anybody who owns a ladder has climbed one, which is probably mostly out there, you know that you can't stand on the tippy, tippy top. Yeah, you don't have any balance up there. You have no balance. Chris Saban really crashed and burned, and now they can turn their attention, Jen Mee, to Alex Shelley. Saban down, and yeah. Matt's gonna take him up. Gonna put Saban there, but oh, really, oh, Saban just comes yeah. right back with the Ooh, kick. Man, that was ugly. Ooh, that was just intense. First of speed and offense. And well, he lost his balance, did Max. Max Buck, he slipped and he's caught up in a tree of woe there. But Shelley right above him. Saban into play with the steel chair. What the hell is this? This is not going to be a basic guy. Uh, oh. oh, man, he's... Max Buck is trapped. Watch this, oh, watch this, watch this. Hesitation drop kick. I'll get a spatula for Max Buck. He's done. Guns feel like they've reached that point here. What are they doing now? Well, they've got, they've got Jen Mee both down. I guess they're not convinced that they're totally down and out yet. Max oh, and you Jeremy. Could just, you can just sense, Mike. Okay. Under the ladder, they stack oh chairs on top of it. What the hell is Shelly going to do now? Has he done anything like this? Oh, my God. Double foot stomp off the top. How much pain are both those young men in right now? Good Lord. Incredible display of both physicality and high-risk wrestling offense from uh, these two listen, teams in Full Metal Mayhem. That was damn near criminal. What are you kidding me? But it's the way they combine the physicality and the high risk. Well, now it looks like the Motor City Machine Guns are going to try and get up there to retain their tag team titles. Saving. Kind of just guarding Alex Shelley. That, that ladder don't look too stable right now. Boy, I like this game plan. Oh, there he goes. He's close to that. He's close, but he can't again, stand up. He's worried. He can't balance. I think the guns. Wait, what now? I think maybe they reached the conclusion that well, you did a little bit earlier. Hold on. Yeah, well, they're too high, the, the belts. But I think these ladders are all the same height. I don't know why they're bringing more in. That's a good point. Oh! That three ladders now in the ring. Two members of Jen Me down, and two members of the guns. What the hell are these who... guys doing? Well, they're positioning the three ladders, and Saban gonna go and climb up and yeah, but you still can't get in that tippy top top rung. Now all four men, or three at least. Well, here comes Max. All racing up these three ladders. And all four men fighting up at the top, and you talk about a dangerous situation. Oh. Well, there goes Jeremy Buck. Now Shelly's out. Yeah. Well, it looks like Saban's got more balance. Saban and Max Buck. Max reaches up to try and make contact with the belts, but no luck. Oh! oh. Jeremy Buck with the kick for Saban. Steel chair comes into play, but Saban takes it away from, from Jeremy. Doubles him over with a shot to the gut. I have just saved his partner's life, did Saban. Steel chair slid by Saban to his partner, Shelly. Oh. How do they think of this stuff?
Resolution, showing their appreciation for these two tag teams battling for the TNA World Tag Team titles. What's with the three ladders? I mean, they, they need either of them. How are they gonna... You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Stick around, Taz. Let's see what they've got in store. Well, there's definitely a game plan in the whacked out, twisted, sick, demented minds of the Motor City Machine Guns. What are they going to do with the table? If you stand on the table, know. there's still this. Oh, oh the hell? I know what they're doing. They're making a top so you can oh, so stand on the top the balance. Yeah, you can stand on top of the top of the, the tippy top of the ladder. Now, add one more thing we've never seen before. Oh, you can just sense something bad is going to happen shortly. That that contraption is not good. <laughs> Low blow, courtesy of Jeremy Buck, takes Shelly out to the floor, oh, and then the man. kick. Paste it, paste it with that saving. Oh, boy. Look at that springboard cross body. Amazing athletes. All four of these guys, amazing. Saw the close-up look of Saban slapping the life back into his face. And now Chris rolls into the ring. Well, Saban, Saban, if he can get up there, he's gonna get his hands sure. on those tag team titles and retain. So now, how, well, hold on, how do you climb now, Mike, to get over the table? You know what I mean? Like I, I just I just figured out that they, they finally put the table there. I haven't gotten to that point well, yet. You're not that sharp. But yeah, I'm just saying, how do you how do you how, how do you get over you look, I mean? look, you gave me 19 minutes on construction of the shark cage earlier. The least you can I'm do is tell me about the construction of this. I can't help you. This is just a crazy contraption. I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't suggest any painters that paint the sides of buildings using this type of scaffolding system. Well, construction tips continue from Bob Vila as... We're laughing, and these four guys are putting their life on the line for the tag team titles right now. And oh, oh wow. God. Oh. Steel yeah, chair you. just slid across the table into Saban. That was very clever by Jeremy. Sure was. Right in his face, Max Buck. Max looking around, and so are we to try and find out where Jeremy is. Oh, oh man, what a shot. Watch out. Ooh. Shelly catches. Max with that elbow. Slice spread oh. off the apron through a table. My God, that was awesome. That opens it up for Chris Saban and Max Buck to potentially decide this and take down the title belts. Well, both Max Buck, Saban, steel chairs in hand, tag team titles hung above this wacky contraption that the Motor City Machine Guns built. Similar strategy. Oh yeah, here we go. Both champ and challenger. Here we go. to this role. You talk about a high, high wire situation with the belts hanging in the balance. Is dangerous up you here. You can't Taz. move your feet. You can't move. And the title belt swinging between them at the same the time. The vibration, the vibration. Wait, 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 wait. Max, Max got the chair knocked out of his oh. hand. Saving cracks him across the Oh my God! Saban, take him down. Keep the goal. Can Saban do it? Yes. Guns oh, retain oh, oh, oh. the title. Go no winners of the match. Tag Team Title Match, and he plays next. <laughs> For Full Metal Mayhem, take down the championship belts to win not only this match, but the series, the Tag Team Titles. Here we go. It's 3D, it's the Hardys, it's the Wolves, and we talked about this before the break. In terms of teams not being 100%, questions about the condition of Davey Richards' leg. I can tell you, doctors have cleared Davey Richards to compete but I wonder, is Davey Richards the Wolves going to be 100%?
Well, that, that's the million dollar question. We don't know. Uh, you know, David Richards went on ImpactWrestling.com and talked about there was some kind of a break in his leg and his bone in his leg. We don't know the details, though. He's being really withholding that information, and, and he, it's been like this for quite some time. Uh, and, and last week, after they came out to the ring here, when they went through the curtain, unbeknownst to us, his whole leg swelled up, David Richards. So that, that knee is the leg is probably not 100%. Well, is Devon and Bully Ray going to try and introduce tables into this full metal mayhem? Yeah, the Richards injury public, but I know that you have some inside information on Devon's condition. Well, Devon also, I mean, I actually talked to Devon earlier and about this. I mean, Devon, weeks back in this tag team series, had a slight tear in his groin. He re-injured it in the gym this past Sunday, so Devon's got a groin issue. So I think it's pretty uh, easy to see this tag team title series has been grueling on all of these men. Yeah, you're just talking about the wear and tear of these competitors. How it's almost like a battle here of attrition as we get to this fourth match. Matt Hardy headed up the ladder. Again, you've got to take down both of the championships to win Full Metal Mayhem as Bully quickly pulls him down and then Whoa. just has his own way with Matt. Big power right there by Bully driving Matt Hardy through there. Now look, look, Bully, Bully knows the deal. He's gonna try and go after those titles. And look at Davey now. Davey Rich is trying to stop. Bully, that's a big man on that on that, spot, Ooh. that ladder. Wow. How about that DDT from Davey Richards on Bully Ray? Yes, it is all oh. legal and full metal mayhem. As now, both the Wolves are going to try and head up the ladder, but cut off. Davey is by Jeff Hardy. Oh, look how oh, look quickly how quick. the yeah. charismatic oh, yeah. Enigma. Oh! Who not only made his way up the ladder, but quickly pulled down by Devon. And again, this just shows you the physicality of what this series has been all about. And Devon again, you can see a little bit how slow he's moving to get up there because of that groin that we just discussed. That enables Matt Hardy to cut him off, bring him down off the ladder, and drop him with the clothesline. So before Eddie Edwards can use the chair on Matt, Matt's oh. gonna turn it around. a wilder style match in, in our industry, in our business. Yeah, find it. And that's one thing I wanted to ask you. In terms of experience in these kind of matches, Team 3D, the Hardys, I think they have a big advantage over the Wolves. They've been down yeah. this road many more times no, than Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards. I definitely agree. Oh, you see right there, the yes. advantage of Bully Ray taking advantage right there. A member of each team right there. Bully eliminates, drops, I should say, both of them. And I just realized it's what he's done, right? Well, Eddie Edwards is tough. He'll go chop for chop. But then Matt Hardy dropping Edwards and boom. That's a veteran timing of a veteran picked his spot and took down both men. Oh, oh. Well, you can just feel it right inside the ring with the physicality of Matt Hardy driving those right hands into the head of Eddie Edwards. Oh, oh and you can feel that one at home also. That big blow from behind by Bowie. We well, might be going to electric chair here, Matt Hardy. Oh, maybe not. Get a little device. Oh, look at Eddie Edwards. Great job. He cut Devon off. Sure did. Now Edwards is gonna, he's gonna inadvertently help Bully in a way, but help himself. No, but, oh, wait, no. wait, but keep your eyes on Matt Hardy. What's Matt he gonna do here? Matt Hardy counted. Oh my, Matt Hardy with the suplex on Eddie Edwards off the top. One Eddie, more time, check Eddie this out. Start here, electric champ by Bully on Hardy. Hardy at the same time with a superplex on Eddie Evans. Look at that. Man. Totally agree, it's really it's awesome. awesome. I feel like we're just getting rolling. 
Bully back to a knee. Bully surveys the situation. Devon drops down to the floor. And now gonna take the offense to Davy. And now you see, see Bully saw that Matt Hardy was scooting in there. He saw he dropped the nail him while he's down, and that's exactly what Bully did. Well, 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 watch Devon. Devon, he got he's setting something up here. Dog rails, everything. Again, this is all part of the deal. Full metal mayhem. If it's metal, we're using it. <laughs> Devon gonna take that steel guardrail, gonna position it, gonna set it up on top of the steel step. <laughs> Setting it up like kind of like a bridge or something. I don't know. These are the two men we discussed that are not 100 percent Devon knowing control of David. Suplex attempt by Devon. Richards tries to fight it off. Good job by David to block that. Oh, oh and then the headbutt by Davy oh, Richards. Man. Gonna give him the separation that he needs. Look at this. Devon is just laid out there. And at the same time, can't you just see the wheels turning in the head of Davy Richards of the Wolves? Oh! Oh! oh. Bully yeah. cuts him off after the howl. The bully turning it, turning it to a power bomb situation, possibly. Yeah, but Davy trying to fight off the power bomb attempt. Stuck up there, he's over for his counter. Screw you. Sit down, splash by Bully. Richards avoids the contact. Look at the Davey get out of the way. Look at Davey. Oh, nice running back elbow by Bully. What a job right there. Good job. Yeah, he didn't get out of the way of that back elbow, did he? Bully again, gonna go power bomb. Oh no. Oh no, no, Mike. no, no, not on that guard. No, 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 no. no. Oh my god. Quick, the sense of urgency that Jeff Hardy has. Hit the whisper in the wind, follows up. Top rope, swan time by Hardy. Great job, Jeff Hardy. Well done right there. No wasted motion. The exhaust, exhaustion, the fatigue in these men that they're putting each other through shows you how vital, how important those tag team titles are. Look at that guardrail, Mike. Davey Richards' body was driven through that into that from Bully. And now, Jeff Hardy shows twist of fate on Bully outside. Big Bully got some blood on his head. If it's his forehead, his face, there's definitely some blood in, in, involved there. Hardy not satisfied. Hardy, Jeff Hardy's gonna bring another table into this match. Legs up, too. That makes it even more dangerous. A lot of what he's got in mind is get the metal end up, which you don't see much. I mean, just think of the possibilities. That's something that's it's very, very dangerous here with the table positioned the way it is upside yeah. down. Jeff Hardy gets very, very creative with this type of stuff. Creative in a dangerous, violent way, as you can see. Yeah, repeatedly ringing the head of Bully Ray off the steel steps is the charismatic enigma. Well, Bully's laid across that. That table can't move because his head was smashed in a whole bunch of times. Oh my Hardy, God, Mike, look at this! Oh, Bully out of the way and Hardy oh. goes right through the table, wow! God, let's take a look. Talk about crash and burn, look at that! Man, what a horrible landing for Jeff Hardy. Hey, does this take Jeff Hardy out of the match? He might be, he might be. There's bodies laid out all over this metal. There's broken tables. There's guardrails that are contorted and bent up. There's Bully now in hot pursuit of those tag team titles. You can, you can almost just sense Bully's confidence level rise when oh, Jeff Hardy oh, 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 went look, through look. the table. But before Bully can make his way up the ladder, oh, he's cut off. Eddie, Eddie Edwards, I mean, Davey, we haven't, I don't think we've seen Davey since he got driven into that guardrail before the commercial break. Bully fighting off Eddie Edwards, but now Matt Hardy comes back into play. A member of each team with three gigantic ladders, and Bully's close to those titles. His fingertips Mike. touching the championships. Look at Matt Hardy using both ladders to, to beat Bully to punch. Meanwhile, Eddie, Eddie's gonna try to pick up the scraps while these guys are punching each other. Oh, but then, now the chops to the chest of Eddie Edwards from both Matt Hardy and Bully. Oh, no. Oh my, look at Matt Hardy and Bully! No way, no way, no way! Oh my god, what a gigantic peel! Off the top of the 
the ladder. No, Matt Hardy, he's got his hand. He's got his finger. Oh, bully, bully does. Both men making contact with the championships. It's dangerous up there. There's no balance. You got to do some big men. These are big guys. Laying in big time shots. Oh! oh! My God, what a landing. Matt Hardy dumping bully. I was like Matt Hardy sacrificed himself just with the momentum pushing Bully off the ladder. Same thing happened to Matt. What physicality we're witnessing, Michael, as I said a few moments ago, shows you how vital, how important four tag team titles are. And now there's Davey Richards, who we haven't seen since before the break. A man we know has got a broken bone or something going on in his leg, who got put through a guardrail, and he's going to attempt to climb that ladder to get those titles. Richards fighting through the pain, but he stopped as he made his way up the ladder by Matt Hardy, and now they exchange rights. Oh, twist and fake straight down goes Davey, head first to the canvas. Yeah, Davey definitely in a bad way. He's not getting up anytime soon. Matt Hardy getting himself a new table. Now what? His brother got put himself for a table off the top. Jeff Hardy, I'm talking about. He's, we haven't seen him. He's laid out somewhere out there. Matt Hardy positions the table, but what's next for Matt? Attention here turned oh. to Davey Richards, who tries to fight back. You can feel like something's gonna brew here. Something's happening. Something's starting to brew, I should say. You can just feel that tension, yes. can't you? Yes. Davey now got control of. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt's got control of Davey, I should say. And just rings his head off the steel post. Davey Richards down on the table that's outside. Matt Hardy, now what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Matt Hardy, you're gonna fly, baby. Oh, what a leg drop by Matt Hardy. Let's take another look. Look at this sick leg drop by Matt Hardy off the ladder through the table. Matt yeah. Hardy leg drop, driving both Davey Richards as well as himself through the table. I dare you, I'm begging you to find action like this anywhere on TV. What Impact Wrestling's all Oh, God! There it is, ladder. Put into play as a weapon by d against Eddie. God. You, you don't have to figure out that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh we, we found a bigger ladder. That thing's gigantic. And Bully hands that, that ladder. ladder into d -Bot. That could be the great equalizer for 3D to become World Tag Team Champion. Must have went through the deluxe home depot to buy that one. Here comes d -Bot. That's an enhanced ladder, and Devon struggling again with that groin issue to climb up that ladder. Oh, that enables Eddie Edwards to stop. Devon, is, but Devon fights back. Oh, shot. Yeah, laying in big ones, and Holy uh -oh. coming uh -oh. in, his 3D at their oh, finest. Yeah. Well, you hear Devon. He's got something in mind, and you know what's up. Yeah, he's, he's moving cameramen around <laughs> because you know what's up. <laughs> That's a tough, nasty director. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at Jeff Hardy. Oh, oh, Before Devon. Oh, man. Before Devon can fall. Oh. He's sent through the table. Did you see his leg shaking? Not good. Devon, bad shape. Bully, you got to try and get rid of a bat on Jeff Hardy. Ooh. And he does so with one big fight that takes Jeff Hardy down. Nothing fancy with that. Bully's got a gash over his right eye. Meanwhile, Eddie Edwards. Look at Eddie Edwards. Here goes Eddie. Eddie making his way. Everybody's down. Edwards. Can he take down the championships and do it for the Wolves? Eddie's going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, Mike, no. Bully, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh. Wow. God, that was a high drop. You're right, Eddie flying off the ladder all the way down to the concrete. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at Jeff Hardy now. What's he got in mind, Mike? Oh! Drop kick. Bully tries to fight back, and Hardy, Jeff kicks that chair. Right in Bully's oh. face and drives it right into his head. Yeah, Bully really ate that steel chair. He's got three ladders, the one gigantic, massive orange one that Jeff Hardy has intent to scale and grab the tag team titles. Oh man, this is an amazing match. Full Metal Mayhem in full effect. 
Matt Hardy trying to take Bully Ray out of the equation, trying to open the door for Brother Jeff to climb the ladder and take down the championships and win Full Metal Mayhem. I think Matt, Matt's gonna... Oh no, you don't think Matt's gonna... Oh! Whatever Matt was gonna do, maybe a moonsault on the table. Look at Jeff, the Jeff, Mike. That was cut off. Meanwhile, you're right, Davey Richards gonna try and stop Jeff Hardy. Davey's gotta try and push this lad, do something to stop oh, Jeff. Close. Oh no. Jeff's close. If Jeff gets oh, his position up on top. Look at Bully on the outside! Look at Bully! No! That's ridiculous. Just watch this, we're not even gonna talk. This is sick. Oh, man. What do you say? Where do you start? Words Where do you do it justice? I hope they got a bunch of ambulances outside this building, because we're gonna need several. Look at this, let's take another look. Oh it's my sick, God! It's sicker every time I see it. And there goes Davey, Davey Richards. Only man standing in it totally is awesome. This is insanely awesome. Davey rearranging things to try and give himself a clear path up the ladder to the titles. Davey able to climb. He's in a lot of pain. You saw him favoring the back, which makes sense after going through that guardrail. Absolutely. Matt Hardy, meantime, the on right the opposite here. side. Man, they're really high up. I, I don't know how long, how that ladder's gotta be 15 something feet. I don't even know. That thing's gigantic. 20 foot Matt, ladder. Matt Hardy's Look gonna take down the titles. Matt Hardy's gonna win it right here for the Hardys. Yeah, but both wolves are on that ladder with him. Yeah, before Matt can take down the titles. Oh, Eddie no. Edwards oh, no. sneaks in. Mike, Mike, look at him. There's a table there. Eddie Edwards has got Matt Hardy, and he's got the table in no! his sights, and Matt Hardy goes right through. The Wolves are in the catbird seat. Davey Richards gonna be able to pull it down. He's got one title down. He's halfway there. Gotta get take a down the other championship. And the Wolves will win Full Metal Mayhem. Can he do it? He, he did it! The Wolves are still the champs. Four winners of the TNA Tag Team Series and still World Tag Team Champions, The Wolves! Based Nuts. on what we have witnessed here, it's Saturday. And now, introducing his opponents from Cameron, North Carolina. Charismatic Enigma. He is Jeff Hardy. And here comes Matt. And remember, folks, like JB said, false count anywhere in this full metal mayhem match. Yes, sir. We're already seeing why this is called full metal mayhem. We got some new news right now. So I'm still, if you will, trash can to the back of Matt Hardy. It was Matt Hardy who brought the fight to Jeff, and Jeff Hardy not backing down at all. Jeff Hardy with that garbage can off the back of Matt Hardy. Well, some of everything that's going to come into play here, steel, metal, aluminum, take your choice. It's full metal mayhem. We saw what went down in Cameron, North Carolina, what had everyone talking, the scene between Matt and Jeff Hardy. Wait, wait did you see that? Yeah. It almost like it didn't even face Matt Hardy to go into the bunker head first. Matt Hardy now. Oh, what a spear by Jeff. Jeff just launching himself into Matt Hardy. But Jeff has been waiting for this opportunity. I think Jeff Hardy has tried to talk sense into Matt Hardy. There's just no talking to Matt at this point. Well, 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 who understands him? I mean, Matt won't talk to anyone. No, definitely not Nero, as he calls him. If you look at the eyes of Matt Hardy and you listen to what Matt Hardy has to say right now and as it relates to this match, Matt Hardy has completely changed. Jeff Hardy looking for a table. A kendo stick flies in from Matt Hardy. This is just the beginning. This isn't going to be a wrestling match. This is going to be a violent brawl between these two brothers. Just the tip of the iceberg between these two. Matt Hardy 
Hardy looks frantic right now. At ringside in the ladder. Into the arm of Jeff Hardy. So you think about why Matt Field is frantic or looks frantic. Look, this is the opportunity. This is probably the only opportunity he's going to have when you're in a full battle mayhem match. I mean, that weighs in your favor when it comes to deleting anybody. Because everybody that steps into this match, they leave worse for wear than they came in. But partner, even that phrase, I'm going to delete Brother Nero, that doesn't strike you as odd. Obviously it does. I think it strikes everyone as odd. But look at Matt Hardy. He's an odd guy. He certainly has transformed into one of the most bizarre individuals we have ever seen. Ever. Matt Hardy has a table set up at one side. Jeff Hardy's still down after Matt used the ladder over and over into Jeff. Jeff may not get up here. That's why he's out. <laughs> Continuing this onslaught here, and Matt Hardy, as we start to cringe at ringside, Matt Hardy looking to put his brother through a table. <laughs> and fighting it off, and Jeff with a suplex of his own. You can see the carnage at ringside, the busted garbage can. Just throwing that trash can loaded with some other weapons, but it's not his weapon of choice. He's looking for something. And again, Jeff, off the back of Mads. You know, Matt has talked about Brother Nero being a symbol, that everyone has Brother Nero's in their lives that they need to get rid of. If you follow Matt Hardy on social media, I mean, you could be reading his tweets and posts all day long. Oh, who are you telling? Big ladder here by Jeff Hardy, and Jeff, not your average. This is normal rally. This is retaliation for what Matt did moments ago to Jeff Hardy. And now it's Matt who's down. Momentarily, though, Matt's back up. And, oh, another shot by the ladder. One more for good measure. Jeff Hardy is going for it. Jeff Hardy trying to get the impact zone behind him here in this full metal mayhem. Falls count anywhere match. Talk about the, the hatred that must be there for one to say to his own brother, I'm gonna delete you. Or think about this relationship itself between the two brothers and what it's come to. They're the full metal mayhem match, Martin. All the emotion. Everything that Matt and Jeff have been through together. <laughs> Jeff trying to take the oxygen away from Matt Hardy. <laughs> Just follow with some shots straight to the face. Jeff Hardy certainly attempted to wear down Matt Hardy in this matchup here. And what does Jeff have in store? Slingshot over the top, rope through the table. Cover here, cover here. Hooks the leg and Matt kicks out at two. Again, falls count anywhere. Very smart by Jeff Hardy. He followed through and went straight for the cover after he drove his brother through that table. Over the top rope splash. Big move there by Jeff Hardy and not enough to put away Matt. Partner, what is it gonna take to win this match? Your guess is as good as mine, Daddy. For one, oh. I'm just gonna say that because this match can go either way at any given time. Another shot to the back by Jeff Hardy to his brother Matt. That time with a steel chair. Jeff Hardy's so innovative. Yeah, look how big the ladder is, though. I mean, I haven't, I've never seen a ladder like that inside yeah, the ring. What's he gonna do with that ladder? How is he gonna get to stand up? I mean, but it's Jeff Hardy. Well, Jeff Hardy now extending this ladder. Oh, my God. And everyone is looking up, including myself. It's at the top of the impact zone. Yeah. Jeff now. He's got the ladder fully extended from one side of the ring. Jeff has something in mind. All the way to the other. And the impact zone has come to life. Oh, boy. Twist of hate by Jeff Hardy to his brother Matt. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Are you thinking what I'm thinking about? Matt Hardy's on a ladder that's extended from one side of the six-sided ring to the other in the center of the ring. That's got to be 
25 feet from one side to the other. Jeff Hardy to the top rope. Oh, what a splash by Jeff. Yeah, you can say that again. Jeff Hardy cover on Matt. Has Jeff done enough? And Matt kicks out at two. Of all the years that I've followed professional wrestling, I have never seen something like that done. I've never seen a ladder stretch across the ring. That's so much Hardy, times. Look, yeah. look at that ladder. Look at the twisted steel in the center of the ring right now as we take another look at what Jeff just did. Jeff Hardy just launches himself off the top rope. Big splash into Matt Hardy through that ladder. The ladder is twisted and bent and still in the center of the ring. Jeff Hardy on the other side now. A swan to the knees. Oh, man. Oh, man. Knees were up by Matt Hardy. Bad landed for Jeff. Matt Hardy drapes an arm over Jeff Hardy, and Jeff kicks out at two. Just like that, it could have been over. This nice rivalry count. has come to this full metal mayhem. Another look at the swanton into the knees. The point of the knees by Matt Hardy. You just can't look away at what has transpired and gone down in this match here. You know, you don't want to. I don't want to. I've been waiting for this. The fans of Impact Wrestling have been waiting for it. All eyes are on Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. Look at Matt, look at Matt just biting the face. The sick and grotesque actions of Matt Hardy. Oh, oh man, did you hear? Wow, buckle the knees of Jeff Hardy. And Jeff, twist the head, twist the feet. Matt Hardy escaped. Matt popped free at the last second. I don't know if he popped free. I don't know if it was half connected or connected. And hell, we saw Matt Hardy going to the buckle and he didn't phase him. Hold that thought. No. Fighting Jeff's ear. I've never heard Jeff scream like that. I've never seen a more psychotic individual than Matt Hardy and what this man has become. He's transformed for the worse. That's for sure. It all started here in the impact zone when Jeff delivered that swanton from the heavens through Matt Hardy, and since then, Matt Hardy has never been the same. What does Matt have in mind for Jeff Hardy now? Ooh! Jeff firing back. Look at intensity in the eyes. Oh, Jeff Hardy got caught. No, no, no! Some effect onto the apron! Matt Hardy just leveled Jeff with that side effect. Hardest part of the ring. Jeff Hardy may be out cold. He's limp! Jeff Hardy is limp! Jeff Hardy is down. Jeff Hardy may be out. I mean, just cover him, Matt. Oh, Matt, whoa. Oh, Lord. A keyboard. You heard the strange new music of Matt Hardy earlier. Is that where it came from? Everything's legal. Matt probably played it himself. Remember when Jeff Hardy entered the home of Matt? Matt was playing yeah. the, the piano, the keyboard. And Oh, perhaps a symbol here by Matt Hardy, a symbolic gesture with this keyboard. Uh, by the broken Matt Hardy. What? He almost doesn't look human, partner. What, what, what is Matt Hardy doing? Is he going to play a tune? I mean, is the man obsessed? <laughs> Matt Hardy. Trying to get everything set up just the way he wants it to destroy who he calls Brother Nero. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what's about to happen, but it can't be good for Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy again. That side effect off the apron may have done so much damage to Jeff Hardy. And now Matt, he's got Jeff looking for a power bomb. Jeff Hardy's head went fast into the Just ground. Just think about what Matt Hardy has been thinking about. Matt Hardy knew it.
at some point that he was going to want to powerbomb his own brother through a keyboard that he put one underneath the ring. Right, right, right. Premeditated, if you will. He already had it planned down. And Matt Hardy now setting up the ladders and the tables to do more damage, to inflict more pain to his own flesh and blood. Is it to his own brother? Is it possible after that? I mean, what can he do there? Well, Jeff kicked out. Jeff kicked out. Jeff Hardy survived. And now this deranged psycho, Matt Hardy, has two ladders, excuse me, two tables set up at ringside. And think about it. If the deranged Matt Hardy thought of what he just did to his brother using the keyboard, and that was very, very bad, by the way, imagine what this is going to be. The outcome of this, I know. Goes and collects Jeff now. Holes for Jeff Hardy here inside the impact zone. I actually I had to turn away from this. <laughs> I mean, it was just devastating. Alpha, on Jeff is laid out over two tables. And now Matt Hardy. Look at Matt Hardy. Look at this man. Look at what he's become. I'm looking. Oh, no. Holmes Watson. No, 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 no. Matt can't do this. Jeff has made his way back to his feet now Thankfully. inside the ring. Thankfully. And Jeff Hardy, he may be just as crazy as Matt. He's joining Matt Hardy up on the ladder. Well, that's one thing. You can't out crazy Jeff Hardy. Jeff and Matt Hardy high above the ring. And now the... Oh! Both Hardys down. Zone trying to will Jeff back to his feet. This wasn't going to end well for either Hardy. Fighting for, for, for position and both men go crash into the top row. Matt's back to his feet. Jeff right there behind him. Jeff Hardy counters and Jeff trying to fight off Matt. You know, Matt has a saying, Matt will not die. Well, you know what? Same can be said for Jeff Hardy. He always fights. He doesn't stop. Oh! Keeps coming. Jeff Hardy staying one step ahead of Matt right now. Classic Jeff Hardy. Covered by the charismatic enigma and a kick out by Matt Hardy. Jeff's back up. I don't believe he's back up. He's really, he's rocking, he's feeling it. Jeff Hardy's not human. <laughs> Jeff Hardy's a superhero. He's got, he got him. him. He hit got him. him. Matt's down. Jeff Hardy, this is it. he went for a swan time earlier and met the knees of his brother Matt. Jeff, swan time delivered. Swan time connected. Matt Hardy down and Matt Hardy kicks out. I guess the same can be said for Matt Hardy. Both of these guys, they're just gonna one up each other until the next man can't get up. That's what full metal mayhem is all about. You just gotta lay out your opponent, almost incapacitate him. Yeah. And in this full metal mayhem Move. match, Move. balls count anyway, so they can take this wherever they want in the impact zone. This has just been a brawl. If you're watching Impact for the first time, these two are brothers. These two are flesh and blood. These two grew up together, chasing a dream of being pro wrestlers in Cameron, North Carolina. Matt Hardy's not the same Matt Hardy. Jeff Hardy has his brother on a table. Oh! Dress the fight through the table by Jeff Hardy to his brother, Matt. Cover, able to hook the leg. Matt's down and Matt kicked out. How did Matt Hardy kick out of that? I don't know, but let's take another look at it. Listen. And Jeff will simply keep on going. The other table that Matt set up earlier. Yep, is there, is in play, why not use it? That's what we've known Jeff to do over all these years, just keep going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Good measures. Good Lord. Matt's on the table. 
Jeff Hardy. Get the impact zone behind him. You never know what Jeff Hardy, the daredevil, is going to do. this weekend, but right now, in center stage, there's plenty of heat. I can tell you that much the minute this guy walks out here. Back in October, at our biggest event of the year, bound for glory, Bully Ray made his return to Impact Wrestling. He won the Collier Shot Gauntlet, which granted him an Impact title shot anytime, anywhere. He targeted the Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander. He took out the executive vice president of Impact Wrestling, Scott Demore, his longtime friend, Tommy Dreamer. He even put his hands on Josh Alexander's wife at Overdrive. The hell? Bully Ray just left the arena here. We, we have a match. We have a world title match here. And Josh Alexander's family is not in attendance this evening here in Atlanta for safety. Jen, Jet, and Lucas at home outside Toronto. Hey, man. Oh, oh my God! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this right behind Bully Ray didn't leave. He was hiding. And what on earth would we expect anything else? With a steel chain in his hand, assaulting the Impact World Champion from behind. Anything and has proven that time and time again to get it back. And you can see all the implements of destruction trash cans, tables, steel chairs, ladders. It's all legal in full metal mayhem. The only way to win is via pinfall or submission. But Ray, well, the, the bell's not rung yet to make this match official. No, I know. Boy Ray wanted this to start exactly like this. Oh, no. oh, look at this. Josh Alexander already is busted oh, open by his challenger, Bully Ray. And, and you talked about this is the start Bully Ray wanted. This is the scenario Bully Ray has wanted from the beginning since even returning at Battle for Glory. He said it himself. I know I can't beat Josh Alexander in a 60-minute Matt Classic. I know I've got to make this match on my terms. And these are Bully Ray's terms. Bloodshed before the bell. Oh, now Bully Ray assaulting the Impact World Champion. And you saw for, for a brief moment there, Josh Alexander reaching oh, over a chair. God. Tossed less than unceremoniously into the ring. And the official obviously makes that decision, not Bully Ray. The official's got to check and see if Josh Alexander's willing to go. If he's able to defend this impact world title. Time, time, you know if there's a pulse in the heart of Josh Alexander right there, you know he's going to fight until his last breath. Fight to defend everything that he believes in. Fight to defend his family. Oh, now look at this. Right off wait, the wait. bat. Go! We are less than three minutes into this contest. I mean, less than that if you count the bell as Josh Alexander lays bloodied, draped over his own championship belt. Disgusting. 
Bully Ray knows that he cannot allow Josh Alexander's emotion, how ticked off he is, to come into play. As these elbows rain down onto the skull of the Impact World Champion, you notice Josh Alexander goes oh. back here, here tonight. It's one of the first times, it is the first time he's worn that, and I don't even know how long. This is huge moment, oh, and boy, Ray now taking it once again to another level. A cheese grater. Now tonight, Tom, tonight that's a skin grater. That's a flesh and bone grater in the hands of Bully Ray. And Josh Alexander's just trying to right himself in the center of the ring. Look at that. Oh, oh, and a straight right by Alexander drops Bully Ray. Hey, and that's enough. That's an opening. That's the first bit uh -oh. of offense Josh Alexander has had in this one. Oh, and a crater to the face of Bully Ray. And turnabout is more than fair play here tonight. And this is what Bully Ray was trying to prevent against. You see the emotion, the rage that's pouring out of Josh Alexander right now. It's Josh's best bet in full metal mayhem. In other scenarios before, it's turned against him. It's been his Achilles heel. Oh, look at this. But in this one right here, yes, it is the opening shot. It is the tool. It is what Josh Alexander needs to unleash on Bully Ray. Tossing all sort of weapons into the ring. Trash can. Bully Ray, who spent months oh. convincing everyone he could imagine, everyone he could muster that he was a changed man, that things were different, all pulling a smoke screen over the entire roster of Impact Wrestling. Oh, now Alexander continues to tee off on Bully Ray, grabs the steel chain. Alexander was cracked with that chain as he was making his entrance. Bully Ray, he's toted that chain. Oh. Ed River, that's right. That was Bully Ray's calling card. Josh Alexander, he wants more than that. Oh my God. Josh Alexander, what? Alexander will do to step up for Impact Wrestling to defend that world championship that means so much to him. But you put your one single finger on his family and you have unleashed a demon that you never knew was inside the walking weapon. And oh, good God. What in the hell? You know how I feel about black bags coming from underneath the ring in pro wrestling. This is bad news for Bully Ray. Look at that smile on the face of Josh Alexander. And uh, of, course, of course it is. Josh Alexander looking right at home here in Full Metal Mayhem. Very early on, he was trying to set up Bully Ray, who rushes out of the ring. Getting out of Dodge as fast as he can. Only way to win is via pinfall or submission inside the ring. And now the chair earlier that just went for! Oh, oh my God. God! Echoing like a gunshot in the night. Oh, and now the chair right to the throat of Bully Ray, the same way Bully Ray used the chair back at overdrive, threatening Josh. His wife, Jen, ramming a steel chair right to the throat of Alexander. Poetic justice for the walking weapon here tonight in Atlanta. Oh. Oh. 
And now a ladder, a ladder that frankly was used a number of weeks ago by Bully Ray to put Bully Ray's once longtime friend Tommy Dreamer in the hospital. Yeah, look at the size of that ladder too. And I'm almost touching the trussing above the ring here. Now Bully Ray is out on top of the table. Hey, hey look at Alexander. Oh my God. And what is Alexander oh. thinking here? This is completely out of character for Josh Alexander. I mean, this entire situation is out of the normal for Josh Alexander. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait a minute, oh my God, Bully Ray was lying in wait. No, 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 no. As if a fall from that height isn't horrendous to the human body. Landing on a bed of thumbtacks. Bully for weeks has been in Josh Alexander's head, and now he's got Alexander completely out of his element. After that flurry by the walking weapon, was going for the bully bomb. Alexander trying to reverse it. Maybe trying to swing together some of those German suplexes. And here we go! German suplex delivered to Bully Ray. How is Josh Alexander doing this on vitriol and adrenaline? Our Bully Ray, he's made the comparison of Josh Alexander to the Impact Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. He's getting a taste of that similar repertoire right now. Oh, rolling senton partially into the tax. Now, once again, picking up the calling card of Bully Ray, that chain. Look at this. He's got it wrapped around his knee. Oh, and we've got a knee strike with the chain to the head of Bully Ray. Cover to retain the title and a kick out. Well, Tom, Scott Demore had said that Josh Alexander would have to, would have to go to places he never thought he would, never wanted to go to take care of Bully Ray. Oh, now look at this, and he's doing just that tonight. The ankle lock as Bully Ray is laying amongst the thumbtacks. Oh, that's not good enough. Oh, good. Oh, my God. This is a Josh Alexander we've never seen before. This is a Josh Alexander nobody has ever oh. seen. My way. Come on. Hodge and Skyler. Oh, remember, there's no disqualifications in Full Metal Mayhem. This is entirely legal. And as much as we want to be outraged, you have to imagine Bully Ray had this card to play all along. Hodge and Skyler have backed up Bully Ray over the last few weeks. Oh, no. The lackeys of Bully As a two for 3D. Is it time for the third Impact World title of Holy Ray? No, a kick out. How on earth did Josh Alexander kick out? How was he kicked out of any of this, quite frankly? That's the heart of the Impact World Champion. Uh, and, and Bully Ray is told Hodge and Skyler to get tables in the ring. This is a three on one match now. This is ridiculous. And you see they're looking at thumbtacks oh. sticking into the skull of Josh Alexander there. Just one memento of the carnage in this matchup on Tom Oh, this. God, look at this. I, I, be I believe more I zip ties, which we've seen Bully Ray years. He used it at overdrive on Josh Alexander recently on Access TV as well. Hodge and Skyler know the drill. Use it on Rich Swan. Hey, this is something Bully Ray's been doing for weeks now to make his point. Uh, listen, Bully Ray, he can't necessarily win the match this way. Again, pinfall or submission in the middle of the ring, but he can do a ton of damage to Josh Alexander. Well, and considering everything he's done to Josh Alexander, who continues to fight, continues to breathe, continues to kick out, he's going to have to do a lot more. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at it. It's, it's Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer's here and hard to kill. Drops Hutch and Skyler. Dreamer has got his own issues with Bully Ray, betrayed by his friend. These men go back 
decades. Dreamer, the one man who stood up for Bully Ray, only to have his back. Look at this. What the hell? Look at that smile, that smirk. No, come no. on. Wait, oh, come on. Dreamer, you've got to be kidding me. There is no Dreamer, there's no way. After everything that you begged Josh Alexander to do, to forgive you, everything you've said. Is the con. No. Oh. Oh. That's the Dreamer we know. I am Tommy Dreamer. Trying to stick up for all the time. And he's ran through the table. Dreamer tried to play mind games against Bully Ray. But Bully Ray gets the better of Dreamer. It bought a few moments. Uh, uh, look at Alexander, he, he's gnawing at the zip ties. Doing whatever he can, like a caged animal, the walking weapon. But still, trapped, helpless, tied to the ropes there. Give up right now! Zip tied to the top rope. Get up. Right now. Give up. Bully Ray screaming at Alexander to give up. Alexander to the referee. He won't quit. And another trash can shot to the head. I have to imagine the walking weapon will fall limp before he says those words. But damn it, Bully Ray is not going to try. There is no give up in Josh Alexander. Even in this situation where he's helpless, zip tied to the top rope. How's Bully Ray? Wait, what the hell? That's, that's Josh's wife, Jen. I thought Jen was at home. Josh asked Jen and, and his family to stay at home and not come here to Atlanta. Jen's here in Atlanta, she's in the freaking ring! Jen, I, I understand, but my God, please get out of there, please! Smashed into the table by Josh Alexander. 
my God. Oh, God. You saw Josh Alexander look up there to that gigantic ladder that he fell, he tumbled from the top of earlier tonight. It was launched by Bully Ray, and now Jen encouraging Josh, steadying the ladder. This is unbelievable. Josh Alexander. Oh my God. many of us never thought he could go to. And he came all the way back, still the Impact World Champion, with his wife, his family at his side. For Impact Wrestling, for professional wrestling, for his wife, for his family, for his very heart and soul, Josh Alexander suffered through so much but did what needed to be done, what had to be done to silence, to get rid of the albatross that was Bully Ray.